In this video, we will extend some of the operations that take place in N1Log to the space of distributions. And we're going to start with a very simple operation, plus. And let me consider T1 and T2, two distributions. And I will define Z as the application from D to R, defined as Z phi equals T1 phi plus T2 phi. What I would like to do is to prove that Z is a distribution. So let me prove that it is linear. First, uh, consider z of phi plus lambda psi. That will be, by definition, t1 applied to phi plus lambda phi, uh, and plus t2 applied to phi plus lambda psi. And by linearity of t1 and t2, for which I know they are distributions, I will get uh, this, t1 phi plus lambda t1 psi plus t2 phi plus lambda uh, t2 psi, which I can regroup uh, and eventually get t1, I mean, I'm sorry, z phi plus lambda z psi. So we have the linearity for z. In addition to this, we have continuity. Indeed, if I choose phi n to be a sequence of, uh, of, of, of test functions converging to phi in d, then z applied to phi n is t1 applies to phi n plus t2 applies to phi n t1 applies to phi n will converge toward t1 phi, since t1 is a distribution and same goes for t2 phi n. So what I will have is that z applied to phi n will converge toward z phi. In other words, z, defined as uh, above here, is a distribution. I will call this, distrib this distribution t1 plus t2. So here is the definition of t1 plus t2 t1 plus t2 applied to phi is t1 applies to applied to phi plus t2 applied to phi. And as you can see, uh, that perfectly defines t1 plus t2 because it was defined on every element of D. So therefore, it defines uniquely uh, that element of dual space uh, D prime. Now, what is important to notice is that this plus operation will extend the sum of two functions in L1 log. Let me explain this. If you take F1 in L1 log and F2 in L1 log, their sum F1 plus F2 will be in L1 log. Now, as you know, L1 log was injected or included in the space of distributions by this uh, mapping, this injective mapping T. So, when I do t of f1 plus f2, well, write it, and you can see that it's exactly t of f1 plus t of f2, as defined here. So, what happens is that when I have two functions in L1 log, and I consider them as distributions, I can simply apply that definition of the sum, and when I consider them as are simply functions in a one log, it is consistent. So that means that we just extended the plus operation from L1 log to D prime. And if you go back to what we said in the introduction, remember when we did this uh, comparison with what happened with R and C, it's exactly what happens when we say, okay, uh, now we're going to just uh, define the plus for couples. A, B, and A prime, B prime, and just, I, I say, okay, it's A plus A prime, B plus B, B prime, and then I say, oh, by the way, if what I had were real numbers, in other words, the, the, the second part of the couple is zero, then it is consistent with the sum in R. It's exactly the same situation that happens here. I'm extending the operations from L1 log to D prime. Okay, so plus, done. Let's look at a product. So let's T1 and T2 be two distributions. Uh, and my question is, can we define T1 times T2? Uh, and it would be pretty natural to actually define as T1 uh, times T2 phi equals T1 phi plus T2 phi. So let's try to see if this is linear. So uh, T1 times T2 applied to phi plus lambda psi. I just uh, write what it is and it uh, doesn't work. We can't define the product of two distributions this way. It is not linear. So it's not even, there's not even a point in trying to see if it's continuous. I mean, it's not linear. It's not going to be a distribution. 
End of the story. And actually what happens even worse is that we cannot find a way to extend the product of L1 log to D prime. So we can do that. We won't be able to do that. Uh, that's a failure. Doesn't work. What we can do though uh, is the product of a distribution and a smooth function. So that is going to work. So consider a distribution T and consider a smooth function uh, H uh, and that will be basically a function that is C infinity. Uh, I'm not asking uh, C infinity with compact support. I'm not asking H to be a bump function. I'm just asking H to be C infinity. Uh, I will define an application Z from D of I to R uh, and that's a candidate to become a, a distribution in a few minutes, obviously. Uh, and that, that, that uh, function z uh, will be defined as follows. z phi equals t applied to h phi. Is it linear? Well, let's look. z applied to phi plus lambda psi, that's t applied to h times phi plus lambda psi by definition of uh, z. Okay. But what I know is that that would be t applied to h phi plus lambda h psi, which therefore would be t applied to h phi plus lambda times t applied to h psi, which is z phi plus lambda z psi. So it is linear. Is it continuous? Let's look. Consider a sequence phi n in di converging to phi. Then I apply z to phi n minus phi, which is t applied to h times phi n minus phi. Now, if you have a function h, which is c infinity, and if phi is c infinity, the product is c infinity. In addition to this, phi is with compact support, which means it's zero outside of this compact support, right? So when you multiply h and phi, then it will also be with compact support, which means that h phi will be a bump function, it will be in the space of test functions. Now, if you look at the nth derivative of h times phi n minus phi, then that will be a sum of some coefficient uh, with uh, the, the, the m minus i th uh, derivative of h and the i-th derivative of phi n minus phi. And we know that we have convergence of the sequence phi n in D, which again is a very, very strong convergence because all the derivatives of the phi n's will converge uniformly to phi. So what we will have is that h times phi n minus phi will go to zero in D i as a consequence. And therefore, z applied to phi n is equal, I mean, will converge towards z applied to phi. In other words, what we have is that z is both linear and continuous. It is a distribution. This distribution will be called ht. So now I have defined the product of a smooth function h with a distribution t that will be denoted ht, and it is defined as here, h t applied to phi is equal to t applied to h phi. And again, uh, because I have defined h t on every test function phi, it completely defines that distribution. So again, it extends the products of a C infinity function with an L1 log function to the space of distributions.